In the face of a multitude of variants, a universal vaccine efficient against all strains of COVID-19 is the goal. It may sound ambitious, but it's one that this biotech company in Lyon wants to achieve. Before the pandemic, researchers were trying to find a universal vaccine against the flu. Their preclinical trials turned out to be promising. They are now applying the method to COVID-19. The difference with the vaccines is the part of the virus they target. The current ones seek to trigger an antibody response by targeting the spike protein, which is on the surface of the virus. The vaccine under development here targets the nucleocapsid protein, which is inside the virus and less prone to mutations. We are targeting a part inside the virus, which is not accessible for the antibodies, so we train the immune system to develop another type of response, a cellular immunity. The biotech company hopes to start clinical trials for the COVID-19 universal vaccine in a year. For now, trials are on animals. But there are many other laboratories looking for a so-called universal vaccine. In the United States, Belgium and Canada, a total of 10 labs and universities have begun the research. In the US, a lab co-founded by a French man says it's focusing on an antigen that avoids the variable part of the spike protein and incorporates the most important mutations. Of course, nobody can make long-term predictions. There is a possibility of seeing the appearance of a new form of the virus. But regarding the actual strain, by incorporating the most important mutations, I think it's possible to develop a universal vaccine that could be efficient for at least some years. In an open letter published in the science journal Nature, two leading researchers warn of the emergence of new and more deadly strains, partly due to the relentless human encroachment on the nature environment. This is indeed the other race that has been launched across the world, the race to find a universal vaccine. The problem is that there are still uncertainties regarding their potential efficiency and time will be needed to develop them, maybe years. The problem is that governments can't really wait at the moment to get out of the crisis. In Lyon, Guillaume Petit for Euronews.